We are flying Emirates tonight and it's all very well having um, A380 and everything but the queues are horrendous to try to get in um, and I suppose by the time we get in there won't be any space to sit down either. So the plane is here, quite exciting to see the plane. This is the queue to go in. This is our, our plane getting ready, filling up. It is um, an extremely full fly. So there's loads of people. I don't know when they're going to start boarding. It is about 40 minutes to the time we're supposed to be taking off. But um, we're just uh, checking everybody in right now. And then I suppose they'll start boarding soon. But uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be too early. I don't know if there's a delay or not but um, this is the A380 and they have various gates to board people from different locations depending on their class of travel or their um, seat number. If you are A, B, C, D you board from one gate and if you are the rest you board from another one so it makes it easy to load everyone. Anyway, let's see how this nighttime flight goes. Don't think we've taken such a late night one. At least not in a long time. Usually the flights are very early, crack of dawn. But this is like a 10 p.m. one. This is the last flight from Heathrow to Dubai for the day. See you inside. So here we have our headphones, uh, our blanket and pillow. A scratchy one but a pillow nonetheless. We have a nice large IFE screen, two charging points, a USB charger and a touch screen which works quite easily with lots of options. A nice large seat back pocket, A380 instructions, a smallish tray table that falls out and then flips out as well to make a decent size tray table. like these um, cup holder things although never used it during the trip, whole trip don't you just love these external cameras i could watch these the whole flight the legroom isn't bad for a short person like me but for a taller person it isn't that great but the seats are very tight the exits on the upper deck if needed lights at floor level will direct you to the nearest exit please remove high-heeled shoes It is two and a half hours in now um, and they are still beginning to serve our section and the service is extremely slow. This is our first After meal. nearly three hours into the flight, there's meatballs, bread and all of that. This is the chicken, the second option with all the other accessories. Um, the meal was um, just about edible. So because it was so late and we're so hungry, um, we just ate it all. And this was our pre-landing snack, a bit of pizza, cheese sweets, but it wasn't a pasta, it was just a bit of bread with cheese. So I just had a couple of bites to see what it tasted like and it wasn't brilliant. Well, here we are folks in the rear toilet. It's quite small, but it has a the lights don't come on properly, even though I have locked it, there is just very low light in here. The toilet seat looks quite a nice mahogany kind of thing and it was a slow going down thing. There's um, some rubbish bin bags and uh, what looks like a decent 
a decent oops, a decent size um, baby changing table. Quite a quite a large one, very flat. Quite a big one. Um, Special tissues here, relatively clean. There is uh, air freshener and uh, hand and body lotion here as well. The staff on this, the cabin crew on this flight are, um, they look like they've just come off the training. So it took them nearly three hours to bring our meals. And they just, they just, no, they, they just, I don't have words to describe how um, untrained they are. I've never had cabin crew that untrained before. Anyway, we are about to land, so I'm usually I'm going to finish this video in the loop. The takeoff was the best thing about this flight basically and after that it just went downhill especially because of the um, crew being fairly inadequate I would say anyway if you if you like this video like subscribe and I'll see you next time for travel and review videos bye